let us put this up here. Okay. Am I on? Hello? Am I on? I'm on. We did not test this yesterday, so if we squeal, we're sorry and squeaking together. Anyway, welcome to our last workshop, Holiday Wishes and Mistletoe Kisses. I'm Tanya. And I'm Chris. So if you've seen us on Facebook Live, it's, that's never prepared either, and this has not been prepared. Yesterday, I wasn't <laughs> feeling the best, so they were all like, oh. I said, I'll be there. <laughs> but they could do it, too. Well, and they, she said, Chris, if I'm not here, can you do it? I said, I can do everything but the decorating. <laughs> and she said, that won't work. So then I got myself well, and here we are. So anyway, we're going to get busy and show a few things. We've got some fun things happening, and when the models are here, we have goodies and treats, so we're excited. We're going to start and whip out this little tree with ribbon because everybody, has, not all of you, some of you have come to us and asked how to do the ribbon treatment. We thought it's probably not too late yet that you've decorated your trees, so I'm going to just show a little bit on the ribbon. So if you haven't decorated your tree and you were here, and you were here earlier and asked me about it, we'll show you how to do that. And then we have a fun little giveaway. So I've, if you've been to the tree workshops before and you know how to light a tree, that's great. This tree, some of the lights don't work. I saw this morning it had burned out overnight. But anyway, we're gonna start with the, sorry, the ribbon. <laughs> there is fuzz on it. Okay, I'm not gonna show you how to make a bow. I'm gonna make one real quick. Because some of you have been to the workshops before, know how to do your ribbon treatment, and this probably isn't real interesting, but some of you out there have been wondering. So you start with a little couple shoe tie bows, and I'm going to do ribbon loops. I'm going to do two different kinds of ribbons. And I use the branches of the tree to use that wire. I don't go clear to the top because to me that's too top heavy. So I start right about here. I use that wire greenery in there. I tuck it down in there so it doesn't just face out at you. And you can take a piece like this. And you can tuck it in like this. You can go down further. Let me get that. This is a little tree for that big old ribbon. And you can cut it off at that point, or you can keep going around your tree. My daughter that's in college called me and said, Mom, I cannot get my ribbon to look right. It looks like I put and my friend told me this too, toilet paper around the tree. <laughs> I said, well, well, let's don't do toilet paper around the tree. This has that opened up a little bit of that ribbon. So you can tie it off, tuck it in, and your ribbon, your tails come out like that. You can start here with another bow. I'll let you hold that. And this is just a couple little um, loops of, are you watching, Joni? Because you got to do your tree yet. <laughs> she keeps saying, are you coming over? Are you going to do it? But now she can do it again. She's one that asked to see it again, so we're going to do it. I'm going to back that. I'm going to use that right in there in that tree branch and wire it. And then the net, when you take it off at the end of the year, if you store your tree in the box, uh oh, then your ribbon just comes off and you roll it up and you can use it next year because all this wired ribbon, it really doesn't um, ruin the looks of it when it's creased like that. And like I was saying, my daughter, she didn't want great big tails. She just wanted little bows. So I tucked them in and then did my tails out like this. And I'm just going to keep going. So do you want to oh. clip on your little things? Oh, OK. And then we have these fabulous lights, these candles, that clip on. And they take one AAA battery. So we'll just clip some of these on, and they have a remote control, so you can turn them on and off. My Eric, husband you want to pick was a, you want pick a name? with them and had to buy some boxes. And we have a, a special for attendees today, just those of you who are attending, <laughs> to buy the box of these candles for five dollars. Five dollars. Five dollars, yes. I think there's 10 or 12 lights per, per box. I'm not going to put them all on. And then there's a remote control, and you can turn them on. Whoops. You kind of have to look at them, click them. Yeah, and they're on. And then you can turn them off. 
Isn't that fun? So you can be in your room. Five dollars today. They're back on that. And the winner of a box is Donna Claver. Yay! Donna! We don't know Donna, but we're glad she won. Oh, the ribbon, I'm sorry. Donna, where are you from? Norwich. Did you come for the workshop or were you in the gift shop and heard about it? No, I was here back Oh, yay. A birthday. Okay, everybody. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Well, I think, I think. <laughs> Happy birthday. <laughs> Yay. Okay. I'll just keep going. Yep. Yeah. Ah. Whoa! These yeah. don't steer. No, they don't. I'm going to show a little mantle decor. Thank you. You're welcome. The trees. We're going to do a little bit of a country look since we went with the country look on our tree. Of course, that's not right. Hey. Yeah. I, I'm really, I'm not that picky. This is our cotton garland with a little bit of red berries. We have some in the gift shop, in the gift shop on some trees that have a little bit of glitter on it. I didn't choose that today because this is a little more country look. I'm going to wrap that around the tree. Yeah, the tree farm is wonderful. Oh, thank you. I'm going to meet that in the middle. So it looks like one big long garland wrapped around my trees. And then we have these fun little mooses. These guys, their antlers go up, their arms are wired, they're waving at you. I do everything in threes. So I have three little guys that are friends and gals. This guy has little legs. He's his little friend, they're gonna hold hands. How about that? Okay, and this guy, you can see his eyes under there. It's a bad hair day, got gal. Gonna tuck her in there. Yep, this is Rudy. Rudy the Rudolph. And in everybody's fireplace, if you've been to my workshops, we always burn our pictures in there. <laughs> we don't have a flame. We're going to do our sleigh. And we're going to put some packages in there. But while you're doing the packages, I'm going to do the poinsettias. Oh, do you think I could do the packages correctly? I really wasn't going to do a mantle today because we've done mantles. But our models are coming up and I couldn't have a bare stage, so I decided to throw a mantle together. And these poinsettias are in threes. This is that platinum color to champagne that's really a hot color. And you can incorporate it into something real rich with your platinum and your gold and your, and your tones of your silvers. Or you can go your country because this has a little bit of that color. So I just picked out the platinum color of that to kind of bring that together. You'll want to mess with this. These, these, um, these are actually little ornaments. They have the little string on so you can tuck them in your tree. But I liked them in the sleigh, but see, you could do that and tuck them in your tree. Or you can make a little, yeah, you did good. Look I at you go. Good. I know. So we did our reindeer theme because we're going to bring Erica up here. But I don't know, do you have a table or anything? You don't have a table? 
Okay. Because we had a, a fun little thing that we were going to show you. We always do it a do-it-yourself uh, project. I think we have models first. And I don't believe so. <laughs> yes, right there. Oh, my teacher said no. You're not up yet. We have models. She knew she wasn't up yet. <laughs> <laughs> that is funny. We're going to come back to the reindeer and show you that. As you can see, I wasn't here much yesterday, so I was not. She luckily okay. tied that up. So we're going to do our models here. This is the first time I've done this show because of being here, so bear with me. Come on up, ladies. <laughs> says get over here <laughs> okay now we're ready because I did my reindeer theme and all around this so we had to kind of incorporate that because it'll go under the the package of the Christmas tree okay. so here we go so we we always do a little DIY project and I had to do something real fast uh -huh. so, uh, did it yesterday and we just thought of different ways to wrap gifts, like if you don't want to go get wrapping paper. Like if you have something like this, instead of having like those wraps, you could go with your theme. And we got brown paper. And I just wrapped some, wrapped them in the brown cra is it craft. craft paper. Mm -hmm. And like we had some garland laying around and we and it's in the package. It's just here. And like say you use garland around your tree now you've decided you want to do the bow thing. Well, you could utilize your old garland. And I just took it and kind of taped it on the package. And voila. <laughs> and That's then cute. we have these little wood ornaments on here. And you can throw one of those. Just kind of bring it all together with that country, wooden, brown, country look. Um, and like we just 
just put the date on here. And it's actually an ornament. We have these. And today, how much? Today, they're buy one, get one free. Buy one, get one free. And they, you can either put on the back, to and from on the back of the ornament, yeah. or you could use that as a place setting at your table, at your See, Christmas I did table. One right here. Um, I, I just threw it on the bag. Oh, we need and a name. We got a name. From and then the date on there. And so, so instead of putting a little tag on here, I use the. So they get the as ornament a as a gift and yeah. the. And, and in actually, that. Actually, I have a giveaway right here. Yes, and oh, in that giveaway. And this goes to Pat Henderson. Oh. Pat, okay, Pat. This is our our Swan Creek candles, and they are go in your. Nice. You're welcome. Merry Christmas. They go in your melter. That is snowflake at midnight, at midnight fragrance. So it's a really good fragrance. Package and just some garland that we had laying around here. And then we have these little, um, what are these? Sachets. These are the little, little sachets, the scented sachets. And so I just kind of stuck it on there also. You know. A little extra little gift. I'm going to put that under the part out of candy cane. That is so cute. So you can just buy some inexpensive craft paper and dress it up with some old Christmas decorations that you have later on the house. There you go. You oh. didn't show my the oh. one our whole theme is over. Oh. I've been waiting. <laughs> this one's just a bag and we just put a little nose on it. But look at his reindeer. Yeah. Isn't that yeah. cute? He doesn't have a mouth. You know, it, it's for, it's a kid friendly. Oh, I'm reindeer! So, so, oh yeah, he's cute. <laughs> <laughs> he's kid friendly. He doesn't have a mouth. He 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 yeah. Okay. He can't talk. No, he can't. Oh, I need my scissors. Okay. The, uh, curly garlic oh. over there in the bucket. Oh, you have ornaments. Today. Gotcha. For those of you and I'm going to show another way to use them oh, good on my little. You. Yeah, will you hold those for oh, me? Oh, absolutely. Okay. I'm here to serve. Yeah. Okay. As some of you know, Ben and Marlene are not here. They're gone on a little ex excursion. So I announced that the last time and said there was going to be deals and there was going to be giveaways. That's why we're giving away so much, and that's why there's some things that are half price because they're not here to know any different. <laughs> Unless they watched our Facebook Live. Oh, gee. Oh, gee. Oh, my. We should say OMG. <laughs> okay, these are half price, and they're the coolest thing. Um, there are different sizes over there. Yes, there's small little uh, ones that hold four candles. There's some without the wood. There's some with two. You have to buy the candles that go in here. Um, some of our candles have the little uh, remote control. Some have timers on them. So with this, you could either put it on a table, top as a centerpiece and use your candles, and decorate the top of this if you would like. A lot of them hang. I have one hanging up in my window area above my kitchen sink. That's real pretty. I'm going to show a couple ways that you can use these. Um, I'm not going to leave it on there, but I'm going to show you what this. She put these on those packages and they're, they're really... Are you going to use this one? No, I don't think so. Sorry. I'm just going to use the cream color. But since we sold out of the red and the last two colors are left are these green and white, that's why they're on half off. But if you... One or two over there of white. The rest of them are green. And that's so if you have a wedding or you have a shower to get to, that you're participating in, you can put this around your candle holders and it just makes everything kind of pop. See how that looks like that? I have some around my greenery and my red candles on my table at home and it looks really pretty. Yeah. But looking in the bag at it, you know, a couple months ago, I said, what is this? And I even had some of this going. So with these pieces, you can do uh, lots of things. I'm going to go to the front. You can, and then you would want to tie this in um, and wire it in so it wouldn't uh, fall apart on you. But you want to do your stems back to back if you're going to utilize them in another place so that you don't see that ugly little brown stem. But I'm just going to show you what you can do. Do these work? Yes. They I do. See that little flame in there? They worked yesterday. Yeah, yesterday was a day. I think I need four little ones. These are little babies, but they're cute. So we 
we just tried to find some things on the half price for you gals and guys that are at our workshop. I need those red, thank you. That you could utilize and you could have fun with and some things that Ben and Marlene didn't know about. <laughs> so these are the poinsettias. They're in the trees up, up front. Um, they have the little clip. If you've been here before, you know I've talked about them. They're only $3.99. You can clip them in. You can cut that wire off if you don't want the clip. And I'm just gonna tuck them into this. And the cool thing about these candelabra is that you can change it season by season by season and you don't have to use it for Christmas. I had brought so up a great some, Christmas gift. Yeah, I had brought up some fall silks to do a fall, uh, show you fall and then transition into Christmas, but I just couldn't make myself look at fall again. <laughs> Since we have so much red. But isn't that pretty? And then you could take this off if you wanted and set it on your Christmas at your table um, and have a centerpiece there too. So that was just something we wanted to show you that was half price. And then while we're waiting on our models, I'll show you something else. Showed my little door. A, a snowman to give away. Oh, you want to give away? You want, did you yes. draw a name? Uh, yes, I have a name. You, you have a name? I have a name for this snowman. He's all tied up in the, he got tied up in the lights. Deanna Riney. Deanna. Oh, there she is. I knew she was here. Okay. While we're waiting on our models, I'll explain what we did here. This is what I do at um, nursing homes. I make the package look like, the door look like a package. Chris did her friends um, with actual um, paper, Christmas paper, wrapped the whole door with paper, and then she did the bow. No, she didn't do the bow. I made the bow because <laughs> she can't make a bow. She is getting better. But anyway, we're going to take this apart and show you a couple other little things that you can do with the door also, but I wanted to remind everybody that you can do that at a nursing home. You can do it at your front door of your own house, tuck into your uh, bow and your ribbon, and make it just look like a real nice welcoming. Where did it go? What are we looking for? The little hook. Oh, it's back here. I forgot to tell you that. And I need that red ribbon and my red. scissors and the scissors are in my pocket. Okay. We're gonna put our little hook up here. These are also half price over there. Yes, we have one red one left and we have some green ones left. This is a um, little for your man for your I'm sorry. For your lamp post or your um, door. You can put it on the grave. You can put a bow on it. It has a hook here that you can hang it. This does not have a big enough hook. Chris kind of panicked yesterday. So what you do is you take your, your greenery from that, a couple pieces. I'll probably get the same kinds. And you just take them and you put them in a knot and make your own hanger. And that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it over the door and I'm going to make a bow. And I'm going to show you girls on this, I tried to show Chris. And you make your tails as long as you would like, and you pinch that in. You turn it once, make a loop, go up and under, make a loop. You never twist again. You go up and over. Look what they did. Look what that company did. They they tied it together in the wrong place. Sorry, I can't. Well, sometimes you find I couldn't do that. that way. Yeah, I couldn't do that. Okay, we're gonna start over. So I want my tail about that long. So this is my tail. Pinch in, twist the first time so your ribbon is upright. Pinch in there, up and under, up and over. You never twist again. Make this loop the next size the same size as that one. You up and under. Twist again like you did last summer? No, you learned the wrong way. You learned from Jason. <laughs> so the next one goes between those two. This is easier to me. And the next one, I'm going to go between these two a little bit longer, up and under. And this is indoor-outdoor ribbon. And we uh, overbought, so there's some <laughs> over there at 50% off. And the other thing I'm going to do, the last one is you twist it so your tail comes down the same way as that one, and you cut it off the same length. Oh, I have my scissors. I'm going to use the, the next layer of greenery in there 
and I'm going to tie it in there because I forgot my chenille stem. So I'm going to use these wires to make. Oh, I did bring some. Oh, it's too late. <laughs> I'm going to play with. <sighs> I forgot I brought some. So see, if you had guests coming, you could put this on the table. I mean, on the door. If they weren't coming and you had something at your table that you needed to look pretty, you can put this on the table and lay flat and put some votives around it would be real pretty. Or like I said, you could put it on the grave and have something out on the grave. Thank you. I dropped one, but I'm good. I don't always have pockets. This is kind of nice. But with it being all wired, yeah, all of our boutique is 25% off. Okay, so there we go. We're going to bring the models out. <laughs>